Hey everybody, I know it's been a long time since I made a video, and I'm sorry, but January has been the month from hell. <laughs> James and I are finally almost well with that crud we had. Um, I still have a bad sinus infection, and uh, James and I are coughing, but uh, for the most part, uh, <clears throat> we're doing pretty good. But whatever we had about killed us. Now that's the truth. James was uh, missed almost two weeks of work. But uh, then what happened? James's mother died. Hold on a minute. Excuse me. <laughs> James's mother died, and you know her death wasn't unexpected, but it's still so hard to say goodbye to mom. I know I've lost both my parents, and uh, James has lost both his parents now. And it's just hard. Um, the last few years of her life, um, she didn't know her children. And if she did talk, she talked like in the past. And she still thought her husband was alive. And, and you know, just certain things. And she got so weak there at the end. And she suffered so much. And so, you know, that was a hard week on us. And, uh, <clears throat> But, you know, as a family, we pulled together, and we, you know, they brought her back home, and we buried her, um, I believe it was last Friday, or Friday before last. I can't remember. I'm so mixed up. This month has been so crazy. Well, also that's happened this month, I had a classmate that get murdered. He was murdered by a boy that lived up here in the holler. I mean... And it's totally about drugs, and you know what I mean? It's just, um, he had killed a man uh, down there at the county seat. And it, I didn't know he lived up, into the, up in the hall until they, the cops shot him. But apparently, on his way back up this way, after he killed that man, he, uh, and it's all over drugs. I'm sure my classmate was in drugs and stuff. And, but he, I heard he shot and stabbed him, killed him. And then he hijacked a car from a woman over here at the Rite Aid that I go to all the time, you know. My son knew this boy. He was only about three years older than my son. And so, honey, um, the cops, they pinned him down. I heard a helicopter flying over the house. At first I thought it was um, an airplane. I thought, Lord, that plane's flying, flying low. And it was a helicopter, and what it was is they had that boy pinned down about a half a mile up the road. And, of course, I guess he was wild on drugs or whatever, and he started shooting at them, and they just shot him dead. <clears throat> so sad. And disturbing. You know, uh, this uh, the little hole I live in, it used to be such a good place to live, and I don't know, drugs have just taken over my whole county. It's just sad. I don't know, I don't know why it's happened, and maybe because there's no jobs here, but I just, uh, it's just so sad. So what happens is, uh, the Friday that we buried Miss Dawson, I believe it was, uh, it was uh, last Friday. Anyway, we come home, and the pharmacist that has filled James and my medication for years and years and years, and was such a good man, he was only 46 years old. Well, he just fell over dead, too, at his home. It was, you know, and he was from Mississippi, and he had lived up here for years, and, you know, married a girl from here, and... Uh, you know, made his home here, was active in our community and and the town council. And, and you know, he was such a nice man. It, it makes me want to cry for him because he was so young, you know. But, you know, I miss him. He was always so good to me and James that, you know, if we run out of medicine and hadn't got a, our prescription filled, he would say, don't you worry about it. I won't let you go without your medicine and stuff. And... You know, <clears throat> and then, and then Monday or Tuesday night, I can't remember because this week has been so terrible. 
is a woman from church, our sister from church, her daughter, who was 24 years old, they just found her dead in her car. And it wasn't drugs. She was a good girl. They don't know if she's had a heart attack or... She was on she was on, she was on her way home from her grandma's house. And, um... So, I mean, my whole church and, you know, the community uh, is just so upset about this girl's death. And I am, too. I mean, I've known her since she was a little toddler. You know, it's just so sad. It seems like this whole month has been... It's been crazy. I don't, I don't understand, you know... <clears throat> I know death is part of living, and I know it happens, but it just seems like this <clears throat> whole month has been crazy. And I know when Miss Dawes, Miss Dawes, James's mommy, <laughs> when she died, the funeral home was so packed with people that had died that we had a hard time getting her in there, you know what I mean? And... <clears throat> and the flower shops running out of flowers and well it's just been crazy I just and sad so sad but you know I wanted to come on here and tell you what had been happening with me and my family and stuff and um, <clears throat> excuse me just seems like I don't have any good news, and I don't really like to make videos that aren't happy. And uh, but you know, I just thought, well, this is just how my life's been this month, and it's been full of death and tragedy and sickness. <laughs> Joshua, Joshua got to come home for about five or six days during his grandmother's uh, death, and and he's trying his best to. Uh, Look for jobs in this area, you know, not in this area, but closer to home, you know, and um, if he ever gets divorced. There's a big mix-up about his court date. He was supposed to have been divorced the 17th, but unfortunately, uh, he got the date on his letter. It was different from what the court date was. It was his lawyer, uh, clerical error on his on his lawyer's part so it didn't happen oh, he was so upset but I told him I said you just hang in there it'll happen and you know he can get on with his life and or try to you know but anyway I'm so sorry that I'm behind on Facebook and watching videos and um I want to, I want to uh, <laughs> get back into the stream of things, but um, I will one day, I promise. But uh, I hope everyone is doing well, and um, I hope the next time I make a video, it'll be a happy video. <laughs> but just keep my family and my community in your thoughts and prayers. We really need them. That's about all I have to say. I just, I love you all. I hope that you're having, I hope you have a great weekend, week, and I'll talk to you later. This is Melissa reporting from Up in the Holler. Bye, everybody.